Hi everyone, my name is Ashish and I'm back with a new video. As you can see on my screen, I have a location column in this table and here it's written how to fetch the word after the last comma using DAX. So basically what I have to do is, I will have to fetch the last word that is after the last comma in this sentences. So suppose here we have two commas, one is uh, after, uh, one is in the 1200 and the second one is after Dakar. So what we want to fetch is Atlantic Ocean. Here we want to fetch the Canada. Here we want to fetch Russia and here we have multiple commas. So we want to fetch Pacific Ocean. So let's write the logic in DAX and fetch the solution for this scenario. So let's uh, create a new column here. And I will name it as places. And here, first of all, I will create a variable for string length, which will give me the length of the characters uh, in each sentences. So I will use len function and use location column. So this will give me uh, the length of characters. Now, secondly, I am going to use a result variable. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute in this column and the old text would be comma and the new text would be repeat. I will repeat space for str length characters so here so what i'm doing is in this column i wherever there is comma i'm replacing that comma with the string length long characters so it will provide enough space after each comma next i'm going to fetch right and i'm going to fetch the str length long word from this substitute result i'm going to fetch the string length characters from the right which will obviously have spaces in front so next what we can do is to remove the spaces before the word i can use trim function so it basically removes all spaces from a text string except for single spaces between words so i will use this trim function to remove the spaces before the string. Now I'm going to return this result and let's see what it gives us. Let's pull this column in this table and we can see this column gives the accurate result what we wanted. Here we are getting Canada which is the last word after the last comma. Here we are getting Pacific Ocean, which is again after the last comma. And here we are getting Australia, which is again after the last comma. So this is how we, we got the result. So this is how you can extract the last word after the last comma using DAX. So that was it for this video. So give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of video so that I can make similar kind of videos on different requirements. Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching the video.